In the earlier videos in this series, we took a look at how to define Boolean logic and the notation OCR will use in their exam, the various logic gates and their associated truth tables, and how to simplify expressions using Carnegie maps. We're about to embark on some tricky material, so it's highly recommended that you start by going back over these earlier videos to make sure the basics are fresh in your mind. In this video, we're going to take a look at the logic that is associated with half adders and full adders. A half adder is a circuit which is able to take a 2-bit input and produces a 2-bit output, which is the correct result of a binary addition of the two inputs. It works by connecting an AND and an XOR gate as shown here. So, if we input 0 and 0 into A and B, the output or the value of 0 plus 0 would be 0 and there'd be nothing to carry. If we choose 0 and 1, the output value would be 1 with nothing to carry. Again, if we flipped it and we had 1 and 0, the digit output would be 1 with nothing to carry. And of course in binary, if we add 1 and 1, the total is 2 or 1 0, so there'd be a 0 in the first column and we'd have to carry 1 to the next column. A full adder combines two half adders together. You can see them represented below. Here's the first one in green and here's the second one in orange. Now we can add a 3 bit input which includes inputs A and B along with a carry bit C. They have to be joined together with an extra OR gate in order to output the carry bit as shown here. So now, if we have 0, 0 and a carry of 0, we end up with 0. 0, 0 and 1 gives a value of 1. 0 and 1 gives a value of 1. 0, 1 and a carry of 1 obviously gives us 2 or 1, 0. So we output 0 into the column and carry the 1. 1 gives us 1. 1 and 1 gives us 2, which is 1, 0, so 0 carry the 1. Same here. And in the final situation, we have 1, 1 and 1, which is 3, but in binary that's 1, 1. So there's a 1 in the digit column, and then we're carrying 1 to the second column. We are able to connect multiple full adders together, as shown below. When full adders are connected together, like this, we can have n full adders and they're able to input the carry bit into subsequent full adders along with two brand new inputs each time. This allows us to add together binary numbers. The example shown below is the circuitry for a 4-bit adder. This circuitry therefore can add together binary numbers in the range of 0 to 16. Let's work through an example because this can be quite tricky to get your head around at first. Here we have some basic binary. Ignore the uh, annotations here for now. So we've got the number 5 which is a 1 in the 1 column and a 1 in the 4 column and the number 7 which is a 1 in the 1 column a 1 in the 2 column and a 1 in the 4 column. And the answer is 12, which is 0, 0, a 1 in the 4 column, and a 1 in the 8 column. So we're quite happy with binary, and here you can see we've performed the binary addition. 1 and 1 is 0, k the 1. 0, 1 and 1 is 0, k the 1. 1, 1 and 1 is 1, k the 1. 0, 0, 1 is 1. 5 plus 7 is 12. But now, if you work very carefully through this and look at our annotations, you can actually see how the circuitry of four adders concatenated together actually allows for this binary arithmetic to occur in actual circuitry. So here we have the inputs A0 and B0, and that's 1 and 1, and they're coming in here. The output from that is 0, carry the 1. So, the 0 would be outputted here, and the carry 1 would come here as the input to our next calculation. So we can see the carry 1 is here. 
two new inputs, A1 and B1, so 0 is coming in here and 1 is coming in here. We add 1 and 1 together, D1 outputs a 0, and the carry 1 is carried here into the next full adder on C2. We then have 1 and 1 coming in on A2 and B2. We have the carry 1 coming in from before. 1, 1 and 1 is 1 carry the 1. The 1 will be output here on D2 and the carry 1 comes in here to our final full adder. We then have 0 and 0 being input on inputs A3 and B3. The 1 coming in on the carry 3 line and then 1 plus nothing is 1 and that simply gets output here.